Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, recipes, and home decor that blends function and design. Today I'm sharing our lower level lake cottage living room. This is kind of a room where I got to have a lot of fun decorating. And it's where we can do a lot of entertaining on a larger scale. We have a reverse ranch, so we have a full walkout basement, which allows plenty of light in here, but you actually wouldn't know just how dark it was when we first purchased our home. We had bushes in front of the windows and lots of window coverings, and of course, a dark paint that had a low LRV that didn't reflect light. So we gave it a little refresh and updated it with fresh paint, new carpet, and more, and I'm so excited to talk to you about that today. Now because this is our second home, we try to keep things really budget friendly. You'll find here that we use a lot of things from Ikea and mix in a little bit of high but in small pieces and then find the look for less, which is another video that I'm super excited to share with you of how I shop the look for less. Here we have an Ikea sofa. This itself sits a good like six to eight people which is really nice. And then we have two cozy blue chairs, which were definitely a look for less. I found these French seam chairs that I loved from Serena and Lily. They were over $2,000. And I found these for just over 300. And they're so cozy and comfortable. I can hang out in them for hours. And the bonus is, is that they have wheels on the bottom, so they roll out really easily, allowing us to transition this to a space where additional people can sleep when we're in a pinch because we do entertain a lot down here. And they also incorporated a couple of beautiful rattan chairs, and those are really flexible. They're indoor, outdoor, they fold up and stow away, but they provide additional seating in a pinch, and of course, a little bit of texture too. So we really focused on finding the style that we loved at a price that we could afford. Another way we did that was in this beautiful coffee table. I don't know if you can believe it or not, but I think I bought it for just about $150. It is glass, it's super simple, it was really easy to put together, and just kind of mixes things up a little bit because this is such a square space. Having the round circular coffee table breaks it up visually. So I kept the decor in here pretty simple as well. I love adding a plant to every room, as you know, because it brings a room to life instantaneously. And here I used a ZZ plant, and the reason why is because it is super simple to care for. We actually haven't been down here in over a month, and you can tell it's just as beautiful as it was a month ago. So a ZZ plant is really great, low maintenance plant that you can utilize in a space that you don't get to visit often. You can also use it in a space where you might forget about it, like a guest bedroom that you don't tend to quite as often. It's a very forgiving plant, however, it does like a lot of light. I love grouping things together in trays, and this rattan tray does just that. I don't believe it's available any longer, but I will link to some additional options in the description below. I just really like the fun pattern. Again, it's a little more modern. It's a little beachy feeling, which is exactly how I want things to feel here at the lake house. You'll notice that throughout the room, I have pictures of the girls. I needed some really inexpensive art to personalize the space. So there's no better way to do that than using photos of our children. I kind of limit the amount of photos that we have throughout our home. So I thought this lower living room was the perfect place to do it. It's really fun and lighthearted. Um, if you can't tell, it's the girls jumping off the dock. They love having jumping contests pretty much every weekend all throughout the summer. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I love blue hues, especially down here at the lake, because for me, it's a reflection of the lake that lies just outside the windows. I think that this is just such a pretty fun color to play with, 
It's really easy and safe because it's timeless and you know all about that. I embrace blue in here as well. You know, you can get all of my tips for mixing and matching pillows in the description below. I think it's really fun to play with patterns and texture and again, mix that high and low to create a really fun pattern. Unfortunately, this pillow doesn't show up so well here in video, but I love the fun pattern and just how big and cozy it is. It's a really fun pillow, and again, this is an indoor-outdoor, and I love things that are versatile. I will, of course, link to all the products that I used in here in the description below. As I had mentioned before, we got new carpeting, and it was not just a want, but a need. Although I really had hoped to eventually bring in new carpeting down here, we had a couple of floods, and so I had to bring in new carpeting down here. Not once, but twice. It was a little bit frustrating, but fortunately we've got it all sealed up and taken care of now. I used a Stainmaster carpet, it's called Medford. I'll link to it in the description below. And I could not be happier with it. I love the fun pattern. It's really easy to care for and doesn't show anywhere in walking patterns. It's just so pretty and light and fresh. And best of all, it's really easy to maintain. This space is the perfect place to curl up and read a book relax, maybe take a nap, and really spend time with one another. We like to gaze out at the lake, which is just beyond, and also play games in here on a rainy day. It's one of the many reasons why I love using some versatile furniture, which brings me to my next point. I mentioned that these chairs, these blue chairs roll, and these rattan chairs actually fold up and stow away. But we also have, for a side table in here, a teak stool. And it's like a little outdoor camping stool, but again, indoor-outdoor use. So it makes a great side table. You can even set drinks on it if you have something hard on top, like books, but you can stow it away easily. It can also be used in a guest bedroom or a luggage rack or um, a stool in there. Offers flexible seating when needed. So we really love incorporating functional items like that, which of course I'll link to in the description below. I also have this beautiful wood stool. I always pick these up at like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. This one is just particularly beautiful, but it makes a great place to sit down in a pinch, but also a really beautiful side table um, for everyday use. This space is a little more flexible because as I mentioned before, when we have a lot of family here, we need to use this as another space to sleep. We have two guest bedrooms and an additional bed in the bunk bedroom, but oftentimes we fill it up with even more people. So if we need to put some kids in here on a blow up mattress, we can. We quickly move everything aside. We can even relocate the furniture easily to the John Deere garage that's just beyond the store and accommodate up to really three queen blow up mattresses. My nephews don't mind sleeping in here at all. Another surprising place that we have created to accommodate guests, mostly children, we've never had an adult sleep there, is our nook. Now the nook I think deserves a video all on its own, but I'll just give you a little bit of information here today. The nook was just an idea I came up with because I was so tired of the clutter that would collect beneath the stairs. The kids would use it as like a secret hangout and I thought I should capitalize on this and then it's something that can be a little more design friendly, a little less prone to clutter and it has been amazing. The kids love hanging out in the nook beneath the stairs. It is just so cozy, a great place to read books. You'll often find them giggling under there and it actually has a twin size mattress in length but it's wider than a twin. So it can sleep maybe two children at a time. And while we haven't to date, I'm sure we will one day. We're getting into the season of our lives where we might start allowing the girls to bring a friend or two here and there. Now, a little known secret about this space, and I, as I mentioned, it is a versatile space. This is also where I work out. I decided to have a club level elliptical down here because we spend so much time down here and I really want to put my health first and foremost and of course then I wanted to put the view first and foremost. So I really like the view in this room and so we nestled the elliptical in here and 
I know that's not a traditional thing to do or something that you would expect me to do. But we didn't really have another great space for it and I really enjoy working out in the mornings before we get our day started and go boating and gazing at the lake view. It's just a peaceful way to start the day. I hope you enjoyed this tour of our Lake Cottage lower living room and subscribe to see so much more. I have so many fun ideas to share with you and would love to see you again soon. Comment below and let me know what's your favorite feature of this space. I'd love to hear.